everyone, happy Tumblr Tuesday. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this spooky pumpkin peekaboo layered power wash tumbler. All right, let's go. Today I am using a 30 ounce handled mug from Craft Haven. I went ahead and I base spray painted this with my Rust-Oleum 2 times Clear Gloss in Real Orange. I'm also using Marigold, Pumpkin Spice, and Orange Sherbet from New England Glitter. I am also using this orange mica powder from Tekaroo's Pigments and a little bit of Snow Cats from Glitter Chimp. Here is the Rust-Oleum spray paint that I used on my mug. Um, once I went ahead and base coated that, I went ahead and let that dry. I went ahead and mixed my colors and my glitters together to get a really nice pumpkin color that I liked. Once I did that, I went ahead and I mixed about 5 milliliters of epoxy. This is Speedy Petey. If you have not used this epoxy yet, guys, it is amazing. I have used this since the day they released it and I absolutely love it. The cure time is amazing. It takes about 2 hours to fully dry which is awesome. I didn't use the full five milliliters, I just used enough to get the tumbler coated. Then I went ahead and I patted it down just to give it some texture so there's no lines. Once I went ahead and did that, I went ahead and I applied my glitter to the tumbler. Once I had the glitter applied, I went ahead and I let this sit for an hour before I applied my first coat of epoxy. After two hours, I went ahead and applied a second coat of epoxy. I did go ahead and sand down my rim so this way I can have a good adhesion to the side of the tumbler with my epoxy layers versus the top rim. I found these cute little pumpkin face skeleton outlines on Creative Fabrica, which I will list down in the link description box below. Um, I went ahead and I cut this out on my stencil vinyl because we are using this as our peekaboo. So I went ahead and I figured out where exactly I wanted my decal to be and placed my pumpkins around the decal that wouldn't interfere. Once my decals were laid down, I went ahead with Rust-Oleum 2 times grape and black spray paint and I kind of did a purple and black ombre on it. However, I didn't have a bright Halloween purple spray paint so I went ahead with some alcohol inks and I just kind of splattered or splotched it on to the tumbler kind of giving it more of that like vibrant purple Halloween look to it. Um, I do have the Breeza alcohol inks here, however that was more of a magenta. Um, the one that I am using is actually alcohol inks that I made myself by using permanent markers and rubbing alcohol years ago that I still use. Um, so I'm just kind of blending that alcohol ink into the tumbler, giving it some kind of like color, texture, dimension to it. And it really gives me that pop of purple and a really nice ombre from the bottom of the cup to the top of the cup where you can kind of see where it's black and then it gets really purple, like that bright purple. Um, so it really turned out good and that's kind of what I was going for. Um, so once I went ahead and I did that, I let that dry for about an hour before moving on to the next step. Once 
once the alcohol was dry, I went ahead and I started removing the stencil vinyl around the tumbler, revealing the cute little pumpkin faces. Once those were removed, I went ahead and I added a layer of epoxy using Speedy Petey. I went ahead and I recut out the pumpkin faces out of my stencil vinyl. These are going to be used to put back over the pumpkin faces that are already on the cup to protect it from the layers of spray paint and the power wash that we're about to do. Once those are on, I went outside with my Dawn Power Wash Spray, sprayed my tumbler, and I went over it with the Rust-Oleum Black Spray Paint. Y'all, I struggle every time I do a power wash. I didn't like how this turned out, so I went back inside, took it all off, and I re-power washed it, which you'll see on the next clip how it's a little bit different. But y'all, if you have any tips about how to do this, let me know. Once I re-power washed the tumbler, I went back inside, threw it on my turner, and I removed the stencil vinyl off of the face of the pumpkin. Once the stencils were removed, I went ahead and mixed up 20 milliliters of Speedy Petey Epoxy and I did a thin coat of epoxy over this tumbler before adding the outlines to the pumpkin faces. Make sure when going around your handle you don't let the epoxy pull up because it will cause big blobs on the top and bottom of those handles. Like I said, I did a very thin layer just to coat and seal what we have done so far. Make sure you pop any bubbles that you may or may not see with your heat torch or your lighter. 
once that is cured, I went ahead and I cut out the faces again. However, this time I did an offset on the pumpkin faces and we're going to add the offset to the pumpkins. And I also cut out the super cute little bats that I got off of Creative Fabrica as well, which I'll link down below. Um, I cut these out on my holographic vinyl just to give it some fun sparkle texture to it as well. Once the offsets were done, I went ahead and placed the bats around the tumbler, keeping in mind to keep where the decal is going free from all of the bats. Once those were on, I went ahead and I used my white two times flat spray paint to make my bleach spot for where my decal is actually going to go. Um, before I did that, I went ahead and I took painter's tape and I covered up all of the vinyl offset that's around the pumpkin just because I didn't want to do another layer of epoxy. So I went ahead and I covered those up so this way no paint would get on it and if I had to use acetone it wouldn't ruin that vinyl that was not sealed under epoxy. So I went ahead and I let that dry. Once that was dry I went in with some alcohol and acetone and I used my coffee filters and I went in and I just got rid of all of that excess spray from the white. I took that off and I went ahead and just kind of de-stressed where I wanted my water slide image to go. If you didn't want to tape off your tumbler and go through this extra step, you could definitely throw a thin layer of epoxy on just to seal everything and then go ahead and create your bleach spot and then just take acetone and remove whatever you didn't want. Um, I just didn't want to take up any more time so I kind of skipped that step. Um, but next time I probably would just do that thin layer of epoxy so this way it didn't take me more time to clean up all of that extra over spray paint. 
Um, but like I said, do what's best for you and what works. I went in with rubbing alcohol over the entire tumbler and removed all of the excess, anything left residue, anything that was left over. Alcohol won't remove anything, but it will help to kind of distress and take off any extra. But the acetone is really what does all the work of removing. Um, I did have to remove a few bats and replace them because I did get them a little too close. Once that was done, I did go ahead and take my clear gloss spray paint and I did go over that bleach spot just so this way I had a clear um, background so that water slide image wouldn't have any seams. However, I realized that I had grabbed my white water slide instead of my clear water slide so I had to reprint this water slide out. Um, but I found this image off of Creative Fabrica. I will make sure I post that in the link description box below. water slide before it is a game changer so easy and the options are endless you can do pretty much anything with these um, I went ahead and applied my water slide and I'm just using my fingers lightly just stretching it and putting it into place where I want it to go this decal fit perfectly with this tumbler honestly when I started creating this I had no idea what I was doing I was just kind of I saw a few different pictures of Halloween tumblers and I kind of just took them all and recreated this beauty um, again, you can go wherever your mind takes you in designing this. You can replicate the same exact tumbler, you can change things, you can do a different decal. This is just here to inspire you to create something awesome. I let the tumbler dry for about 30 minutes before we went into our final layers of epoxy. I went ahead and I mixed up 20 milliliters of epoxy. Um, I used Speedy PD again for this. I am using snow caps from Glitter Champ, my silver um, mica powders from Tekaroo's Pigments, and I'm also using Sanderson Sisters from New England Glitter. I went ahead and I mixed that. Uh, 20 milliliters of epoxy. I did separate a little bit of that epoxy into another medicine cup for our chunky glitter that we'll be applying after this. Um, I did mix in the snow caps and the silver micro powder in that epoxy and I went ahead and I epoxied the entire tumbler before adding in my chunky glitter. You know you could definitely boycott adding the extra glitter. Me I love the extra glitter and I think it really brought this tumbler together. Once I applied that first layer of glitter, I'm gonna go in with Sanderson Sisters and I'm gonna mix that into the leftover epoxy and I'm just gonna add that around the tumbler, not all over it, but in just certain spots, just to give it some extra texture and dimension. This Sanderson glitter is really perfect for this tumbler. It's purples, blacks, and oranges. It is a perfect Halloween glitter, which also fits into this tumbler as well. Like I said, I loved adding this to it. I thought it gave it a more of a pop it just brought everything together
Once I was done adding my glitter, I went ahead and I let this cure for two hours before going in with my final seal of epoxy, and she was done. I let that cure, and this is what she looks like. Guys, this tumbler is so beautiful. The texture, the dimensions between the layers. She literally, this tumbler came out perfect. I couldn't have imagined anything better. I really hope you guys loved this tutorial. If you do, please make sure you like, follow, subscribe. Leave us a comment in the comment box below. And again, I appreciate all of you guys watching our tutorials every Tuesday here on YouTube. And again, We'll see you soon.